How to change the name of the general channel in Microsoft Teams. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Kaisers and I help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you know everything you want to know about the channel name, a rename of the general channel. And there's a bonus at the end, so let's jump into it. So yes, I already started up Microsoft Teams. So here we are. Um, now uh, you see everywhere there's a general channel, uh, except this one. But um, basically what you are going to do and what you are able to do is uh, you are going to click on this. And one thing that you need to be aware of, because here you don't see the option to re or you see the option to rename the channel but you need to be the owner of the team. That's the first giveaway. If you are not a owner of a team, you are not able to rename the general channel. So here I am the owner because there's the option there. I can rename it. And uh, there's one other question uh, order thing. Once it's renamed, you cannot uh, change it back. So uh, let's go here and uh, call it, uh, um, I'm going to call it a Dutch name because this is something that you might uh, not know, but it, in Holland we call it Algemeen, this uh, channel. And the, um, the problem is uh, if it's Dutch, then uh, the folder below was still called General. So now we are going to rename it to Algemeen. So save it. And as you can see, it's renamed. And after the rename, I can try to rename it again or type a general. Let's just do that. This is also experience uh, for me the first time. So. After that, you cannot rename it back to general. So keep in mind, uh, keep that in mind. So here we go. Um, we renamed it to Algemeen. Let's look at the file step. So here we have the file step and uh, we see teams. I just uh, don't see the... Um, Let's go here because it's, I think it's the wrong channel. Yes, it was the wrong channel. So here we go. It's called Algemeen. If we go to documents, it's still called Algemeen, which is uh, the correct uh, way you want this to happen. Because um, as I told you, in Holland, we call it different. So you want to have the underlying folder also different. Um, if we would open it up in SharePoint, it would look exactly the same. So this is, uh, um, I think, a very important thing to know. So you can rename the channel to Algemeen and all the folders below that are going to, um, um, or all the, all the folders. In this case, the channel folder will be the same name. So this is really important to know. Now, this is a very nice because now we can uh, sort on alphabetical order and the general channel is not uh, like in the view. So uh, it's more logical. But there's a big but. We've been working with the general channel since 2017. So when Teams was released, you ha only had the general channel. At that time, and I know I'm sure that a lot of people are still using uh, the general channel. And one thing you might already see in my uh, Teams overview is that the general channel, um, sometimes it's general channel, now it's all main, and we have here, I don't know, no, it's all general. Here we have a OneNote one. It's kind of, okay, which governance are we going to take? Are we allowing everybody to rename the channel? So the owners of the teams, or 
aren't we going to allow them uh, to rename the channel? Because we can, of course, do this by a policy uh, in the end uh, to uh, take away the rights to rename the channel. But um, it, it depends a bit on your organization because if we are used to general, either we can do good adoption work or uh, we can uh, just say, okay, nobody renames the general channel. But here comes the bonus. Yes, if you like this video, please like the button at the bottom and don't forget to subscribe to my videos because without you, I cannot make these videos. And it's really important that you uh, give me a like so I can make more videos for you. And um, yes, uh, I think the videos are great for your own company. And uh, yeah, let's just jump back to this bonus question. The bonus is if we create a new team, create team. Now uh, we can give it the name. Uh, so uh, general channel test, a description. But now this is new. We can give the name of a first channel name. We have to. So instead of uh, giving it the name general, I could choose any name I want. So this is a bit of a new one. And I think this is really important to know because if we call it Algemeen here, or we call it Algemeen, like this, it's not correct spelling, but doesn't matter. Um, all right, and we are going to create it. We see that there's a new general uh, channel. I kind of have members, yes, I know. Uh, a new general channel test with algemeen, but not in the way it's written for everybody. So that's another thing you need to be aware of in your governance. I would suggest that if you are going to create teams, that you are going to uh, create it via uh, approval process and a provisioning process. This makes it uh, more um, alignable and more alignable to your governance. Um, if you haven't done that, please uh, let me know. Uh, I can help you set it up. If you have done it, great job. So this was what I wanted to show you on uh, the new uh, channel rename of the general channel. And uh, if you want to know more about uh, Microsoft Teams, you can look it up here. And if you, uh, well, that's it.